Ledgers. The thing about ledgers is they're boring. In the next couple of minutes, we're going to prove to you that boring is brilliant. In an increasingly crowded and borderless world, we need to create new ways of organising our economies. Accountants, bankers, insurers, traders and technologists are pioneering financial services for billions of people and trillions of devices buying and selling. From cryptocurrencies to smart contracts to asset registries and global identity systems. We need to be able to depend on each other. The traditional approach has been to have centralised, trusted third parties in turn relying on ledgers. The ledger is as old as civilization. Six millennia ago, Sumerians used clay cuneiform tablets for recording transactions. Medieval folk split wooden sticks to keep records. So much so in England that, when tally sticks were retired in 1834, the destruction of so many of them got out of control and burned down the Houses of Parliament. So far so boring. Today, trusted third parties use computer ledgers to prevent false transactions and preserve records. From research to marketing to risking compliance, we need robust systems for managing the inner complexities of more and more data. Doodle aggregates and interprets data for our customers. Distributed ledgers are not only the future source for much of that data, but also the future distribution channel to our customers. Unlike computer ledgers of yesteryear, tomorrow's ledgers are portable, mutual and distributed. Mutual distributed ledgers bring peace of mind. Indestructible and uneditable, they are pervasive, persistent and permanent. As more and more blockchains are being established, um, the early concerns that people had about security and complexity are fading. You see projects like Bitcoin and Ethereum running, and you see all the kind of private permissioned ledgers that people were building, and what you see is that we've actually got a functional explosion of new trust architectures. Here in London, we're building mutual distributed ledgers for insurance, credit control, anti-money laundering, and know your customer applications. We've created interlinked ledgers working together consisting of identity, transaction and content ledgers. The views on the actual mass scale adoption of distributed ledgers vary, but one thing for sure is that they have numerous use cases which are bound only by our imagination. As a firm, we are committed to exploring where the most practical applications lie. Personally, I think the main applications in the short run will be in the areas where there are lower transaction volumes and perhaps for asset and data storage solutions, many of which we're actively developing right now. We have come a long way very quickly. Now we know that distributed ledgers can work for many business situations. That's real business and real people. Now it's time to seize the opportunities offered for genuine products used in the market. See, I told you ledgers are boring. Thank you.